It's been a brutal year for business in China. A year ago this week, Beijing slammed the brakes on the world's biggest stock market debut, halting the $37 billion listing of Ant Group, the financial tech giant founded by billionaire Jack Ma. It came shortly after Ma rebuked China's financial regulators in a high-profile speech. And that moment set off a year of upheaval as China tightened its grip on a stunning array of sectors from fintech to private tutoring, online gaming and ride hailing to entertainment, even crypto and e-commerce. Now, here's the timeline. In December of 2020, Chinese regulators launched an antitrust probe into Alibaba and put a number of other tech firms on notice. And then in April, China hit Alibaba with a record $2.8 billion fine for behaving like a monopoly. That same month, Alibaba's ant group was cut down to size and restructured into a financial holding company. In July, China's cyberspace regulator banned the ride-hailing platform DD from app stores after seeing it posed a cybersecurity risk. And later that month, China unveiled wide-ranging rules that essentially shut down the $120 billion private tutoring industry. In August, China clamped down on chaotic fan culture after a series of scandals involving celebrities like pop star Chris Wu and leading actress Zhao Wei. In the same month, China banned kids from playing online games for more than three hours a week. Now, the crackdown has been sweeping, and observers say it's about more than party control. Common prosperity is the prosperity of all the people, said Chinese President Xi Jinping in August as he pledged to redistribute the wealth. But Xi's campaign to narrow the wealth gap has weighed on the economy. The crackdown has prompted sharp falls for listed Chinese firms, at one point wiping up to $3 trillion off China's markets. And with China's economic growth slowing down, will the crackdown wind down? It's moved from GDP, efficiency, smokestack industry, to consumer welfare, consumer protection, social harmony, as the core interest under the general umbrella of common prosperity. That will be the Chinese government's main priority, even if it is at the cost of slower growth. As analysts ponder what's next, Jack Ma has resurfaced. Last month, he was reportedly seen on the Spanish island of Mallorca, where his luxury yacht is anchored, and last week at a greenhouse in the Netherlands. One year ago, China sent Ma a powerful message, and he had been laying low since. Now, Jack may be back, but it is a brave new era of control and scrutiny. Christy Lustout, CNN, Hong Kong.